The Iowa Championship Rodeo began as an old soldiers reunion. That changed between 1923 and 1925. It didn't take long to transition from balloon ascensions, merry-go-rounds, and a baseball game into a full-fledged bronc busting. That bronc busting event grew quickly, requiring three grandstands by 1927 and including most modern pro rodeo events by the late 1930s. The American Legion Post 128 owned and operated the rodeo and even owned bucking stock for some years. Sydney retains to this day a reputation for excellent animal athletes, many from the longtime stock contracting survey family. By 1931, arena lighting made night shows possible, and by 1938, the rodeo was broadcast live on local radio. The fans preferred to see the action in person. By the mid-1960s, Sydney's average gate was 65,000 spectators, and residents offered rooms in their homes to help house contestants. Sydney still draws a huge audience today. The town of 1,138 people sees an influx of 38,000 over the five-day rodeo. Sydney now boasts two covered grandstands, acreing a large arena surrounded by 40 acres of parking and miles of fencing. That requires a lot of maintenance, according to committee chair Trevor Whipple. They currently utilize 300 volunteers. One of the families that has volunteered at the rodeo for generations is the C. Wayne Bub Smith clan. His son, R.W., nominated Iowa Championship Rodeo for induction after a visit to the hall in January of 2014. He noticed the hall had a number of historical photos from Sydney. The Iowa Championship Rodeo has gone from nominee to inductee. For all the volunteers and fans, welcome to the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame.